Good morning. Today I thought I would share with you something that just came in the mail. Oh, maybe a week or so ago on Instagram, Heritage Leather out of Waco, Texas was doing a very nice giveaway of one of their leather aprons. And of course I didn't win the giveaway. There's lots of people that enter those and no reason to expect that I'd win it more than anybody else would. But I thought the apron looked like it was pretty high quality, so I found their Etsy shop, and I will try to include a link to their Etsy shop here somewhere. And I ordered one of their aprons, and it came in the mail today. So I have this very nice leather apron, cowhide. And it's a nice heavy apron. That's at least four ounce leather. I, I can't tell for sure. It's a, a bib style apron. The stitching looks very nice, nice heavy thread, brass hardware to buckle the belt, and it's got this nice strap on the neck strap so that not all the weight of the apron is carried on your neck. I've never tried an apron like this before, but it's one of the reasons I don't wear the one I have is because the apron just rubs on your neck, and I'm hoping this will alleviate that problem. I may have to deal with this little clip-on microphone somehow as we get used to wearing this. Put that down there for now. So this has some slight adjusters over on the side. Take, take a little practice to figure out how to put it on, but very easy to snap, and that does not feel like it bears on my neck. I don't know if you can see that, but this waist belt helps carry a lot of the weight of the apron. So that's pretty nice. This comes all the way down to my knees, wraps around the sides. Right here is where I wear out my clothes the worst. Welding flux is one of the big culprits, and I, I could probably save way more than the cost of the apron in a single year in worn out t-shirts and flannel shirts if I just made sure I wore this apron every single time I'm in the shop whether it's grinding or forging because those are the things that really throw sparks right through here but also it will protect my jeans because right through here is where my jeans wear out because I'm carrying carry stock down here and it rubs against your your thighs sometimes or from working up against the bench so I think I'm going to like this. It's more comfortable. It looks more durable, better made than the one I made myself years ago. They sell these on an Etsy shop. Again, I paid for this. They did not send me this free. I'm not doing a paid advertisement. This is a product I bought. And I just thought I'd share it with you. And I will share Heritage Leather Etsy link in the description on the down there in the bottom. And I will try to put a link up here in the video somewhere if it'll let me. I may have to do some experimenting with this microphone to see where the best place to, to clip it is. Generally the forge is over on my left so probably if I put it on my right I'll pick up less noise from the forge and hopefully you can still hear my voice quite well with it clipped there and we'll find out because I'll watch this video. But anyways that's just a quick review of this apron. I think I'm going to like it. I'll let you know more after I've worn it for a week or two. In the meantime I hope you like the quick little video. Hope you subscribe to the channel. Hope you can get out to your shop and make something. But stay safe, wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you for the next one.